Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to solve that grainy or balled up appearance that happens when you use natural butters. Here is an example of what I'm talking about. Now this is shea butter, but any low melting point natural butter can have the potential to do the same. As you can see, it's formed grainy little balls. Now this happens because natural butters are actually composed of various fatty acids. And if they get warmed to their melting point, which is typically around 35 degrees, and this can happen uh, in summer and also in tropical and warmer climates, Climates, but if they then are allowed to cool slowly over a day cooling down, for example, they the fatty acids will start to separate out and the uh, higher melting point fatty acids will start to form these extra hard little balls while the lower melting portions of the fatty acids will stay in their butter-like consistency. Here is an example of how it can look in a finished balm product. So you can see there is some grainy, balled up appearance and this is obviously undesirable. Now you don't want it to happen in your finished product and the best way to make sure it doesn't happen in a finished product is to ensure it cools rapidly. But don't use material that is balled up in the first place. So let's say you've had product in your warehouse and it has balled up over like this over time. How can you fix it and get it back to its nice buttery consistency before you manufacture? The simplest way is to heat it really hot. Now hotter than its normal melting point because you need to melt the higher melting point fatty acids, often stearic acid, present in the butter to liquid. And then you need to ensure it cools rapidly and then you'll get your smooth butter again. That's the only form of butter you should be using when you're going to manufacture a batch. And remember the same principles apply to cocoa butter and mango butter. Let me show you how to fix this now. While we wait for this to melt, Let's fix the finished product too. Now remember this is not desirable but if you do have a batch that comes out grainy looking you can simply apply heat, fully melt and then cool rapidly to fix your finished product as well. Be careful not to overheat or boil the product, you only want to melt it and then cool it rapidly. Remember, you don't want to boil product, you just want to heat it so that it's all liquefied again and then cool it rapidly. And there you have it, a nice smooth balm and of course your nice smooth shea butter. Now just remember it is not desirable to have to fix your batch. You really should be fixing the raw material first. But of course if you do have that graininess in a batch, you can save it as long as you have not added any heat sensitive materials. You can heat it back up, allow it to cool and it will turn smooth. And there you have it, a nice easy fix to a common problem a lot of people ask me about. Happy formulating!